What's up, YouTube? So, what I heard uh, lately, if you guys haven't heard, is that that guy who, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, left his fucking child in the car and let him burn and boil to death while he was at work for like seven hours or something like that. Turns out there's a lot more information you might not know. And that information is the fact that while he was at work, he was sending pictures of his erect penis to six other different women while his child was in the car. There was also a witness that said they saw him come out of his work to his car, went into the car, and saw him doing whatever in the car. Turns out, apparently he was actually changing the child's car seat, putting him, putting the little boy in a smaller car seat, and fucking tying, like, tightening the stuff on it, like the straps, to him tighter, so that the kid had no chance of actually getting out. So, um, it seems like the father was actually meaning to kill his child, because he was, you know, all for that no children... Uh, lifestyle, or whatever it's called. But other information about that, you know, people are saying, you know, oh, that poor mother. Actually, that bitch might be in on it, too. She went and went, she went, went and went, two once. She went to the daycare, and the people at the daycare was like, yeah, he didn't drop off his kid. You know, he didn't drop, drop off your, your son. She's like, oh, he must have left him in the car. Yeah, left him in the car. What motherfucking says that shit? Oh, yeah, uh, he probably didn't drop my child off, so he's probably left in the car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no. So now, what they're saying is that both these parents might have actually been on the whole killing of the child in the car. And, you know, when he was taken you know, to the police station after he put on this, apparently, this dramatic, um, event, you know, saying, oh my god, my child's dead, what have I done? You know, the, a really crappy, uh, dramatic version of it. They took him to the police station, they called his wife, and the first thing, you know, they asked the mother, do you want to go see your child? Like, you <laughs> go see him. She's like, no, I'll go see my husband. I'm pretty sure a concerned mom, a real concerned mom, would actually want to see her child more than the... I don't know what's wrong with these people. I mean, this child was like... It's awful. I mean... And, like, there's pictures, you know, there's videos of her and... Uh, well, both of them in the courtroom, and she's just sitting there nonchalantly, like, chewing gum, not really acting all that concerned. I mean, she's just sitting there, like... I'm pretty sure a real mother would actually be crying at the fact their child got boiled to death. And on another note about that, apparently they found on the child scratches and abrasions on the back of his head, meaning... That kid was trying to get out. So that basically means that child was suffering. And, I mean, it's going to sound wrong, but if, you, if you're going to kill your child, like, drug him, shoot him, I mean, don't leave him in a car where he can suffer. Killing your child's wrong. So, I mean... Don't say, oh my god, what you just said was so awful. Yes, it's awful. But, I mean, I would rather hear of a parent killing their child quickly than hearing about them actually just leaving the child in a car in, like, 130 fucking degree weather and the kid baking and boiling and then just... The child was... That child was suffering, like... I don't know. People are just messed up. I mean, it's so wrong. Like, 
I don't know what to say about that, guys. That's just... It's crazy. It's sad. I'm just glad I live up here in Canada, where there aren't stuff like that. Mind you, people are going to be like, well, I mean, you don't get, you know, that hot of degree weather in Canada. True. But we do get sunny weather, as you can tell. I'm at my mom's, and I actually saw that whole new information about the father and everything killing their their child, so I don't know, I just felt like I should have to put something on here about it. Um, yeah. I don't know, people are people are crazy. That's seems to be it. So that's probably it for today. Um hopefully uh, you guys will start answering, asking questions for me, or whatever. I mean, I can talk about fucking everything. Even if I don't get any questions asked, I'll just post shit up here, just because I can. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Have a great weekend. I'm going to be enjoying the sun, because it looks like uh, I could probably use a bit of a tan on my face. Yeah. Anyways, guys, have a great weekend. Don't be crazy like par these parents are these days. And if you have children, love them. You know, I don't have kids. So, I mean, people out there, like all my friends who, who do have kids, they love their kids. And, I mean, if you go to that extent and want to, like, get rid of your kid... Put the fucking kid up for adoption or, you know, just don't be crazy. Don't kill your kids because that's just shit. That's, that ain't cool. But anyways, guys, that's all for me for today. Have a great weekend again. And I'll post some other videos up later on and see how this thing goes. And hopefully both those parents get charged and thrown in jail for killing... They're an innocent child, but don't let that bring your weekend down, guys. Enjoy life. Have a great day. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate. That was some food. Have a great day, great weekend, and just enjoy the weather, especially if you're in Canada, because just remember, there's only like, I think like 23 weeks left until Christmas, so <laughs> gotta start worrying about Christmas now, guys. Gotta get those presents shit and shit. Presents shit. Presents shit. Anyways, guys, talk to you later. I almost, I'm 